Over the past few years, a new genre of video games has emerged. Especially on the Nintendo Switch, cozy games have become all the rage. Games like Animal Crossing and Dreamlight Valley have been consuming thousands of hours from players across the globe. And with the rise of these games, there has also been a rise of content surrounding these games. Occasionally in my feed here on YouTube, I'll get recommended a video about cozy games. This brings me to the question, what the f*** is a cozy game? Well, to answer that question, I asked an expert, aka my girlfriend, for her input on the subject. According to her, a cozy game is a game you can play without being rushed, a game that you can sink an insane amount of time into, a game that has good, often calming music, a game that features repetitive tasks, and a game that has some sort of farming mechanic. Now if this is also how you would describe a cozy game, congratulations, you just described RuneScape. One of the oldest and honestly greatest MMORPGs of all time, RuneScape has all of the previously mentioned features but also provides deep and engaging quest lines, crafting, and much more. When I said this to my girlfriend, her response was, well, no, the graphics aren't cute enough. So we can now determine that modern cartoony graphics are also a requirement for cozy games. In all honesty though, from watching her play games like the previously mentioned Animal Crossing and Dreamlight Valley over the past few years, I've come to the conclusion that what separates the cozy game genre from RPGs is simply a combat system. Initially I thought that the deciding factor was a character progression system, but after researching further I discovered that games like Dreamlight Valley actually do have a leveling system, allowing you to work your way all the way up to level 10. Oh my god! Wow! But it really does seem like cozy games are just kind of a poor man's version of an RPG. Now you might be thinking, well RPGs don't feature the same farming and community building systems that cozy games do. And that's simply not true. The thing is, the term RPG or role playing game covers a huge variety of games. There are turn based JRPGs like the Persona series, there are action adventure RPGs like Elden Ring, and we also have RPGs that feature the same farming and world building mechanics like Stardew Valley. Stardew Valley would be the role playing game that I would recommend to anyone who enjoys cozy games, however apparently it is lacking those cozy graphics. But take a look at the new Yakuza Like a Dragon game called Infinite Wealth coming out next year. It features all of those cozy world building systems, but in a much more rewarding way, as the protagonist actually has an interesting background featuring solid character development. The funniest article that I read online about it stated that Sega managed to fit the whole Animal Crossing inside a Yakuza game. Which is absolutely hilarious, but also seems to be true. So in all honesty, this video was not at all made to put down the cozy game genre. In fact, I believe playing these games is what helped my girlfriend get into RPGs. I'm really thankful that cozy games acted as a gateway drug for her, because now we get to enjoy co-op games like Pokemon or even Diablo 4 together. So the whole point of this video is, consider putting down Animal Crossing and expanding your new horizons, as there are a lot of cozy RPGs out there that you may find to be well worth playing and extremely rewarding. Thank you all so much for watching this video, and a special thanks to my lovely girlfriend Jan for her expertise in the cozy game subject matter. It's the first snowfall of the year today here, so I kinda figured the cozy game genre was a great topic for a video. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a like, comment, and maybe even a share, and consider subscribing to the channel as I upload pretty frequently and am really trying to grow it. As always, take care guys, and I will see you in the next one.